Guys, I am coming to you from the Ace Hotel in Sydney in Surrey Hills and oh my god, it is everything that I had dreamed of and more. backstory I have wanted to stay here for a very long time the Ace Hotel is like a chain of hotels that's very arty and design forward it looks amazing it's just super super cool their socials are awesome and I have been following them for a long time and really really wanted to stay here so a few months ago I reached out to them on Instagram and asked if there was somebody that I could email in regards to doing some kind of collaboration with them or like content creation in exchange for a room and now here we are long story short so I think that what we can learn from this is if you feel like your vibe or your style really matches a brand or a business or something that you would really like to collaborate with or photograph video definitely get in touch with them because if you don't ask you don't get so we are here for the weekend it's a pretty short trip there is uh, a few things going on in the lobby downstairs that we are going to photograph tonight, just capture the vibes and the DJ and have some dinner. And then tomorrow there is a little market that's on for Sydney Design Week. So I'm very excited about that as well. In between that, we are trying to hit up some vintage shops that I love that I used to go to when I lived here like 10 years ago. And of course, hit up a few record stores and maybe eat in a few other places as well and shoot loads and loads of film. So I'm really excited to be making a travel kind of video and I hope that this is something I can do more in the future on the channel. So since the Ace Hotel looks so cool, I wanna give you a little room tour. So let's go. It's not your everyday sort of usual hotel in its design, colors, like interiors, everything about it. So we'll start from over by the door here. Everything is just so nice. They've got this like marbling um, downstairs in the bar as well. That's very photogenic and just everything. Like even the glasses they give you for water, are just like so cool. Carpet, which is like a very like Lucy Lumen color will look good on film, guys. <laughs> they have different people come in and like pick the records for like a season, which is really cool. So here you can see yeah, so efficient space. I saw still something on their Instagram that he was the one that was doing it. Sounds like, and then like spin it. So like when to play it, like over breakfast in bed. How cool is that? Like dream. So I just think those touches are like really cool and um, just make it seem really special. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to start photographing the room because that's what I'm here to do before I mess it up. So I will see you guys later on. Saturday morning and I'm not gonna lie I'm a little bit hungover a little bit tired but I had a really great night I wanted to just do a little recap of yesterday so we went for a big walk in the city in the afternoon while we were waiting for our room to be ready and I did some street photography with my beautiful pen FT not sure if it's really the right camera to be doing street photography with, but it's really handy knowing you have so many shots. And yeah, I'm excited to see the photos because I don't normally do that. But since I've been traveling for work and I've been in cities, I have been interested to try street photography when I'm in these more kind of like urban settings. So that was really fun. We also visited House of Fuji, which was really cool too. Got to see all of the Fuji cameras like in the flesh and yeah. We didn't buy anything, obviously, but uh, it was nice to have a little look in there. While I'm here, I am also shooting some things for a Melbourne fashion brand. So I was being mindful to like include that in what I was sort of shooting, um, which is pretty easy because everything in here is really cool. There's a photo booth downstairs as well, um, which is unfortunately out of order today, which is such a bummer because it wasn't yesterday, but I thought I'll wait till today 
lesson learned. If you see something, just do it or capture it. But next time, I'm sure. So last night, there was a DJ. They have like a resident DJ each month at the Ace. And it turned out to be a friend of mine from Melbourne. And I bumped into a couple of other friends that I haven't seen for like years. So that was really cool. Um, so I had to photograph the DJ, which was really easy because I knew her. <laughs> And um, then just like the general vibe in the lobby, which was also really easy because there was such a vibe. Trusty combo of Rebel G and this 40 millimeter pancake lens, which is like my go-to at the moment. Um, it's just got, you know, a little like pop-up flash and the flash is pretty powerful. Focus, like autofocus is super, super fast and it's also macro. So I don't have to worry if I'm getting like really close up to things, which was good. Also used the Ushika T4, which doesn't always hit focus, but it definitely has a vibe and a different vibe to using an SLR. And I feel like that vibe is very Ace Hotel. If you look at their Instagram, everything looks like it's kind of, yeah, been shot with that direct flash point and shoot kind of look. So we've put a couple of rolls through this now. We've mostly been shooting Color Plus just because we got a bunch of it. And I feel like it's just a good, I don't know, it just like, it's just good. And we've also shot some Fuji and we broke out some Portra 400 because, you know, feeling fancy. We also have some Portra 160 in the F100. Um, we haven't really been like taking this round in the hotel because it's quite sort of cumbersome. This is really heavy and, you know, but we've been shooting in the room with it. So we got some shots of me sitting on the couch, um, which is like really nice. And we have some other products that we're going to shoot over by like the bathroom with that like off camera flash kind of look. So yeah, that's been cool. We do have like quite a lot of gear with us, but like maybe not as much as I thought we would. It's really cool because like the Ace Hotel have like little uh, like notepads and like pencils and stuff like that all marked with like Ace Hotel stuff. So I was like making some notes downstairs with my coffee of all the other stuff that I need to do. So plan today is to shoot another event that's happening downstairs in the cafe that's like at the front. It's called Good Chemistry. It's like an old chemist, hence the name. Um, and they're doing a little market in there for Sydney Design Week. So Nonna's Grocer will be there. They make these like really cool candles that look like tomatoes or like, you know, different grocery items, but in a candle, it's very cool. Once we've done that, we're kind of like free. So we might venture out and get food somewhere else in Sydney, like in the city um, and maybe do some more street photography, take some more photos. Um, I've got lots to get on with, but I will see you guys later on in the video. <laughs> So we are back home, back on the Gold Coast, and I am in my little office. I have sent the photos off to the Ace Hotel and had an email back to say that they really loved them and they can't wait for the next time. So that feels really good. This was a huge project for me. So um, I was a little bit nervous and we did a lot of things on this trip. It wasn't just the hotel and it was pretty 
jam packed. And if I'm honest, it was quite exhausting actually. Um, I think I had glamorized the idea of it a little bit. So I think in the future I would like to do more hotel or travel kind of work, especially for the channel. Cause I feel like it's really interesting, but I don't think I'd be doing it kind of on a regular basis. Um, being away from Luca was also really difficult for me. Um, by the second day, I really missed him. So yeah, it's interesting to do something and try something out and then figure out if it's actually what you want to do. And I feel like that's what I'm doing all the time. Almost every week I do something new and I always learn from it, even if it's, you know, that I know that I don't want to be doing it anymore. There are two takeaways from this trip. One of them is I think that I really like street photography and that's something that I wasn't really expecting, but I really enjoyed the kind of in-between periods where we were walking around on the street. Um, and you know, I had my pen FT, which probably isn't really the best camera to be doing street photography, but I was really happy with a lot of the street shots that I got. And I think I want to try more street photography on the channel and do a video about that. Maybe my pen FT also needs a CLA. There's some weird spacing going on, um, that my lab told me about. Um, there was a light leak as well, which actually worked out cool. And the hotel said they liked that shot, which is kind of, you know, funny and cool all at the same time. But I think I need to send it away. Um, the viewfinder is also really dark too. And the light meter doesn't really seem to work. <laughs> it's kind of a disaster camera, but it's so good. I love the lens and I love that it's half frame and I love the look of it too. So, uh, need to get that one fixed up. Another thing that I learned from on this trip was how hard it is to travel with film and also lots of camera gear. So we took our like Fujifilm X-T4 rig for videoing. And then we also took a lot of film cameras because, you know, different film cameras do different things. And then we took heaps and heaps of film more than we needed because I didn't want to end up having to buy it at a, you know, high price in Sydney. And it was really difficult to pack the camera gear and be um, at the carry on weight because we didn't want to put things in like checked baggage and then they're getting thrown around. But then we had all these different lenses and all these different cameras and, you know, things that have like, you know, batteries or it's just really difficult. I found, um, so we actually ended up paying extra both ways for our carry on because it was over the limit, even on the way back when we tried so hard to put as much as we could into checked baggage. Film as well was actually fine. I put it in a glad bag. I made a reel about this on Instagram and there's like so many good tips in the comments section and experiences from people all over the world, you know, either saying it's never been a problem for them or it's like a really big problem. So check that out. Easy to just ask for a hand check and all our film was fine. Yeah. seems like very mixed responses on that topic, but comment below if you have any tips for traveling with gear, if you're someone who travels regularly for photography and video, because yeah, it was just really difficult to do that. If you're as excited as I am about the Ace Hotel photos, then definitely follow them so you can see my work pop up on their feed. That will definitely be a pinch me moment. And also stay tuned for a video on street photography coming very soon.